Welcome back, folks, to Fishing Planet here in Congo River, Africa. Now, we are here for the Congo Nightly Hunt Mission, the Flat Spoon Mission, uh, and I just want to say this mission was one of the more frustrating ones I've ever done. This took me around three hours real time to do. Now, you could get lucky and get it quicker. You probably could get lucky or unlucky and take longer, but this was not a, the greatest mission because for all these fish, the flat spoon is not the best thing to use, obviously, but they want you to use it. Just keep in mind, folks, fish at night. So for the first one, I wanted to start off by saying I did try out all colors, and for a large amount of time, probably an hour you know, right at the beginning, and it seemed like the blue definitely hit better at night. Um, at mid-water, surprisingly, mid-water, and that mid-water to lower towards the bottom. But normally I fish these guys right on the bottom, but the flat spoon seemed to be a little bit better on top. In any way, guys, you just cast out here. This is where I did the now perch video. And if you want the marks right here, 153.3 and 146.6 and 794.9 um, with that. And just keep in mind, a lot of people are having uh, perch get off when they get close to the boat. They're always, guys, if you if it's metric, it should be about 10 meters. And if, if it's, um, you know, if it's imperial, about 32 meters. These perch are always going to go right to the surface. So knowing that, have that pole pointed down when it gets close, and then and then hit your L2, and then pull up into the side, and you will quit losing them Nile perch. Um, I didn't lose a single one doing this, and I did catch a bunch of trophies. Now, um, that being said, though, it will take a little bit of practice, but that's how you make them not miss. Uh, when you're you're casting on your and make sure too guys that's your biggest lure pole that you're using now I'm going to take you guys over for the uh, the uh, tiger fish spot okay for uh, the tiger fish both sets I got here and I use the oh, the 60 flat spoon here as you can see and or the 4-0, they both work. The 4-0, make sure you won't get now perch or not very many of them. Um, you can use the 4-0 or the 6, like I said, they both work. The blue, it tends to be the best flat spoon at night out of all of them. I've tried all the different colors at all um, for all these fish, and the blue seemed to be the best. Um, and for the marks right here, uh, you can... Uh, right here you can see uh, the Goliath Tiger Fish. You can go ahead and uh, pause this if you want for these marks. This is a casting mark. I do want to say thanks to uh, Speedy and Q1, I do believe. These marks are from them. I'm pretty sure. If I got that wrong, let me know down in the comments. But uh, these marks are given to me. I did try a couple other spots. I did try that common spot here and the other common spot up here and one other spot up here. Didn't have a bunch of luck. And this spot over on the right hand of the waterfall was not too bad, um, but this is where I had the most luck. Um, and these guys are kind of streaky. Uh, they definitely, the bigger ones were hitting on bottom or in the middle, not the top. I didn't get many bites on top here, folks. And then for our last one, we're going to go over to here. This is the spot that, oop, not there, wrong spot. This is the spot that I like for Cornish Jack. And we'll walk down here to the end. And a 4-0 or a 6-0 will work. I was using both, and I actually got it on the 6-0. And you can do it one of two ways. You can either cast it right here. Or you could cast it back here. I had a little bit more luck casting back here, but a lot of times they'll bite with really close in, and you're gonna want to do a stop and go on the bottom. Uh, and this is the mark uh, where I cut mine. 
Oop. I believe it's right there. Um, negative 407, negative 407.2. If you want to mark it yourself, and if you want to use some other marks that I pointed out, these are marks right here. Now, just keep in mind, some of these fish are going to take you a long time, and other times they're going to get, you know, you're going to catch them on a, the first cast and get lucky. So, you know, it, I mean, it took me three hours, and I'm pretty decent at these missions normally. Anyway, guys, hopefully this helps you out. We'll see you next time. Have a good one.